Yo, what is going on guys? Legion TK here, coming at you with a little bit of Black Ops 1, doing another commentary. I actually fucked up quite a few times uh, once again. <laughs> um, I actually had this, or actually had previous gameplay uh, live commentary, um, explaining a few things, telling you guys a few things, and also I, I lost that gameplay apparently, as well as the face cam. And then again, this is actually a live commentary. And look at that tomahawk in the window. I thought that was pretty cool. I was happy with that. Uh, but this was also a live commentary as well, but I lost the face cam again. So I don't know why I'm losing footage, why I'm losing files. Maybe it's, they're getting saved in different places. I don't know. Um, I really don't like it because that's like the fifth time in the past few weeks. And it's honestly getting really annoying. <laughs> I honestly, I have no idea why. I, I gotta figure it out. So bear with me. Uh, I was definitely gonna have two live commentaries of Black Ops One, but uh, I guess it's gonna have to do. Um, I definitely had a little more entertaining. So now it's gonna be a little ain't live, or now it's gonna be just normal gameplay commentary with a not so great game. Cause I was gonna do jump cuts. I was gonna do like I had a story to tell about my whole surgery, how that went. So that kind of went downhill pretty fast. So now I'm gonna be telling you guys it uh, this way, just a normal commentary, which kind of sucks. I, I definitely love doing live commentary, especially with face cams, cause you don't get a little more uh, into it. You get a little bit more, I guess, things to look at. Um, I also was going to do another type of video, but apparently I have to upload it to YouTube and take it from YouTube. I forgot about that, and that's going to take way too long right now. So that may be in a few days. We will see. But god damn it. I got to stop losing the footage. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't know if this is amazing gameplay, but like I said, it was going to be cut from a live commentary. So hope it all works out in the end. Hope you guys are okay with that. I'm sorry. I'm going to try to be more careful, I guess, with where I'm putting the files and where they're getting saved to, with what name and what's going on, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> and damn you with the C4. Um, but I guess I'll tell you about what the live commentary is about. So, pretty much what I told you guys about was my whole surgery, uh, the whole, well, what is going on, the whole stitches. I tweeted about getting stitches quite a few times, and a lot of people were asking what, what happened, why. Uh, nothing major, so... My surgery was just about very minor 30 minute surgery. Uh, dermatologist is definitely going to get a mole removed from my back. Uh, nothing too bad, nothing too big or anything. It's just you know something that I wanted to get removed because if I didn't, it would have potential issues of becoming cancerous in the future. So when I get older, it could uh, get bigger and it could become cancerous. You know, it's not likely, but I want to get taken away. It just you know, I'm moving away to California. Uh, I figured might as well get it done now while I'm still at home, while I can recover at home, while I can still have uh, parents there for if anything goes wrong. So definitely doing that now, getting things out of the way. I'm doing everything I can to right now. I'm getting my car checked. I'm getting you know this removed, another thing removed. Uh, getting my teeth. Uh, I went to the dentist, going to get my teeth all whitened and already working on that process. Hopefully things work out. Uh, not brown and gross, but it's just you know trying to make things better because the braces kind of left a couple of brown yeah, some little spots every now and then but not too bad so working on that uh, but kind of want to talk about the whole little process of what happened so I tweeted about how my surgery was the weirdest thing ever and having surgery while you're awake is definitely is the weirdest thing ever uh, first of all you're just I'm just laying on my back and he's like all right you're gonna feel a couple sting couple pricks and then you won't feel anything so yeah, he, he stung me with the anesthesia, and I remember my live commentary. I couldn't think of the word anesthesia to save my life. I was like, you know, oh God, I didn't even know what I was trying to say. I was trying to say anesthesia, but I'm like, I, what is that thing? What is that name called? What is that? I'm like, oh, that numbing shit. The, the shit that gets you numb. I'm like, oh, yeah, then I just kept calling it the numbing shit. I felt fucking retarded, but I got it now, anesthesia. <laughs> so they injected me with anesthesia to my back, so I wouldn't feel it. I felt like four or five different pricks, and all of a sudden he's like, if you feel this, let me know. I was like, um, all right, cool. I don't feel anything. That's is that good? He's like, yeah. All right, let's let's get started. So then he started. I, I guess he started cutting because all of a sudden the next thing that was happening, I just heard like the cutting of my skin, the cutting of my back. It just, it was just so eerie. It's so gross. It's like, oh, I just, I just heard the slicing. I, 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 I couldn't feel anything, but I heard like. 
it's just like, oh my god, it it bugged me, it bothered the shit out of me. I couldn't do. I, um, <laughs> I was just getting tears from just like hearing my skin just get cut into, not feeling anything, but I heard my skin just getting sliced and. It was just so eerie that you can hear it, you're awake, you know they're doing it, that you know exactly what they're doing, but you feel nothing, and it's just the weirdest feeling in the world, and it's it's just weird. I didn't like it. <laughs> I didn't know what he was doing. I felt nothing. Also, and I, I kind of glanced over a little bit, so I knew he was starting to stitch me up. I, I, I didn't really feel it, but the weird part of the whole stitching process is you feel like the rest of your back getting like pulled together like you can feel your whole back getting pulled but you can't feel at the spot you can't feel the needle going in you can't feel the stitches at all you just f feel your entire back sucking the tighter and tightening up and it just is this whole weird i didn't like it i'm the kind of type of person that kind of gets freaked out by stitches i see stitches i get this weird feeling inside and it's like Ugh, I, I i cringe i am not a type of stitch person i don't mind blood actually i I don't really like broken bones and bones snapping, you know, like those skateboarder videos where bones just snap and ugh, I don't like that. Uh, if I see stitches on people, I, I kind of cringe and get freaked out, so me having stitches is going to be weird. I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about when I see it right now. It's still covered up, still bandaged. I can't shower for two days, so I'm going to be pretty dirty. I'm going to go to work and Walmart's going to fucking hate me. Um, I had to get a doctor's note because I am not allowed to do anything really, lift anything over 5 to 10 pounds. 10 pounds is my ultimate maximum limit that I have to do or I can do and my entire job composes of lifting boxes, moving things around in a warehouse. I work in a warehouse. I am a supervisor in a warehouse, so I had to set up the line for the trucking unloaded, which includes moving heavy pallets, uh, putting pallets on the ground that are on a high stack. It's all physical, and I can't do any of that anymore. So Walmart's going to get super pissed at me. My boss is going to be like, so you set the line? Uh, no, I can't. I got stitches in my back. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm going to have to fix something out. My boss is going to hate me. My coworker, my new coworker is probably going to hate me because I work with two women. Or I have two, three associates, two women, and one uh, boy is very scrawny as like myself, but even skinnier. So he's probably going to set the line. He's brand new, so he's not going to be happy with it, but I, I can't do stuff. <laughs> Doctor's orders. <laughs> my dad yelled at me. He's like, oh, fuck. You got these stitches now. I can't tell you to mow the lawn. He's like, I was like, nope, I can't do anything. I can't mow the lawn. I can't vacuum. I can't do anything. I can't go outside and garden. I can't do anything. I didn't just sit at home playing video games. I smiled. He's like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> so, yes. No mowing the lawn. No doing anything for three weeks. Actually, be like five weeks until I move. So, hopefully by the time I get all my stitches out and everything, I'll be in California. Moving to California like the week after. So, that's going to be pretty cool. Um, I'm pretty excited about that, but yeah, this entire process of getting stitches, getting the whole sliced out in my back, it's like, ugh, ugh, it's just fucking creepy. If you guys have had surgery, like, getting something removed, sliced open while you're awake, it's just a weird feeling. You're gonna understand what I'm talking about. I, I just, I just... I didn't like it. I, you guys may be different. You may have some fascinations of like, oh, this is pretty cool. I'm getting sliced open. Yeah. I don't know. It's, it's just not my cup of tea. I didn't like it. It wasn't the greatest thing in the world, but, you know, it was over with in 30 minutes. I, I drove home afterwards, which is pretty weird. I'm like, oh, I had surgery. Now I'm driving home. You know, like I said, it's super minor surgery. Nothing to really worry about. Um, that's about it. The gameplay is going to be coming to an end soon, but nothing really exciting happens at all. I, just, I remember a... I believe this is a game where a guy goes in the last stand. I pretty much just teabag him. He's on my team. I'm like, yeah, you're a weak... We're your weakness. I'm not going to survive or revive you. I'm not going to let you live. Fuck you. I hate people in last stand. I think that shit is bullshit or second chance in this game. I don't like it. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to wrap it up now. I hope you guys enjoy a little gameplay commentary Black Ops 1. I know it wasn't I wanted to be. I wanted to be a live commentary. It's pretty interesting. It's actually pretty good. I, I enjoyed it, but I don't know what happened to the Stop! I gotta stop that shit. Um, maybe you guys enjoy. Leave a like. Leave a comment about I, I guess... What, I don't know. Just leave a comment. I, I, I like reading you guys' interactions. Uh, I may respond. I know I haven't really in the past because you know, there's too many to really respond to. Sometimes there's really no reason to respond to. But definitely leave a comment. Oh, here it is. I'm going to teabag him. I'm going to kill this guy. And then, Oh, you're a weakness. I'm not going to let you live. Fuck you, guy. 
You don't deserve to live. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Then catch you guys next time. Peace.